Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. So Friday, two days ago, August 2nd, right, I made this video, U.S. closing embassy Sunday, and talked about the story the mainstream media was carrying about the U.S. closing 21 or 22 embassies around uh, northern Africa and the Middle Eastern regions because of some terror threat that they received, supposedly, a rumor of an attack. I want to go ahead and show just in the last two days what's how this has escalated and what the fear-mongering media is reporting. So now we have the State Department issuing a worldwide travel alert for a terrorist threat. And now this has been issued for the entire month of August. Very interesting, right? Now if you go over to ABC here, I think this is ABC one, yep. They are also saying that they've intercepted an al-Qaeda communications that indicates the planned attack is going to big, be big and strategic, strategically significant. And now if you go over to CBS, they're saying that al-Qaeda is in place, ready to attack. The terror threat prompted the U.S. government to close nearly two dozen embassies and consulates Sunday in the most specific, credible threat information in years, CBS News senior correspondent John Miller reports. Intelligence offering, uh, officers have been reporting from reliable sources that a major plot is underway and that the team to carry it out has been selected and is in place. So they are really pushing this fear, fear, fear stuff. Now, I don't doubt in my mind that something's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be this month, but I know it's going to be very soon. And what I want to also point out is this. I really just, for the people out there <laughs> that just don't seem to think that this is going to be some sort of inside job or that the government's not behind this, let me show this article that came out a couple days from Bloomberg. Al-Qaeda backers found with U.S. contracts in Afghanistan. So if you don't want to think this is actually the government doing this, what is 100% fact is that the United States is absolutely training, funding, supplying these Al-Qaeda guys. They absolutely are. So either way you look at it, it is a government-created problem because they want what they want to do is they want to create a problem, scare you, so they can come in, take over, and solve the problem that they created. That is 100% true what's going on. You can either look the other way, or you can face the truth. I'm just trying. I'm not trying to scare anybody here. I'm just telling you what's what's going on. You can choose for yourself. Decide how to react accordingly. Now, I also want to make a. I want to show this to everybody. I also in this video I talked about how I think maybe the uh, the prison breaks that happened a week a week and a half ago were linked to this Al Qaeda threat. Supposedly, all of a sudden, this is pretty funny. This is from the AP. Interpol makes new warning linked to prison breaks. Interpol has issued a global security alert in connection with suspected Al-Qaeda involvement in several recent prison escapes, including those in Iraq, Libya, and Pakistan. The Lion uh, France-based International Police Agency says that the, the alert follows the escape of hundreds of terrorists and other criminals in the past month. The alert calls on Interpol's 190 member countries to help determine whether these events are coordinated or linked, the organization said in a statement on Saturday. Which is funny because that's exactly what I said in a statement on Friday. I'm going to make mistakes just like the news is. I'm going to report stuff that, that may not be right or that may be old and I'm using it as current because I just, I can't catch everything all the time and I do apologize, but... I'm watching the same things unfold that these people are. And I tell you what, I don't have an agenda like these guys. You know what? Let me take that back. I do have an agenda. I want people to know the truth. This isn't funded by any... I'm not making any money doing this. But I'm reporting on the same stuff that these people are, except for I'm telling you what's going on. I ain't got nothing to gain from scare, to scaring you into doing anything or for you to even subscribe to me. I'm not making any money. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm just trying to show people what the F is going on out there. And I'm telling you right now, your freaking government is trying to kill you with this bullshit. Now, I want to go ahead and thank my friend out there, Chug Collet, who found this story. Over the weekend, over in Minnesota, they had a mock explosion in Arden Hills to test the first responders. Resident in Arden Hills saw some extra police activity this weekend as public safety agencies from around Ramsey County participated in a large-scale exercises to test the response to major incidents. And we also know that Indiana is going through a major terror drill throughout uh, until August 17th, I believe. So these they're preparing for something. Something's about to go down. Who knows when? 
Now what I want to do is focus my attention on here to you everybody. This was happening earlier on MSNBC. Uh, Peter King is on the phone. It's kind of hard to understand him, but I think this is a question everybody actually is very curious about. Well, I am. I'll just speak for myself, I guess. But this, I'm, but I'm sure other, everybody else is curious about this as well. So I'll let her take it away. Is if nothing happens today, how long do we keep our guard up at this level, and do we have to maintain it here in the states as well? Uh, it really depends what the intelligence shows. Uh, this is being monitored so carefully by every intelligence agency in our government, by any sources we have, any you know, leads at all we have working closely with our allies. Uh, we will be getting a uh, hopefully an analysis of what happened, why it happened, why it didn't happen, and how we will try to do this. This is uh, unfortunately very seldom any black and white answers to this. I think it's definitive. Uh, as definitive as anything was the fact that there is a real attack plan. If for some reason it doesn't happen, we will We'll have to determine why it didn't happen. Has it been called off? Has it just been delayed? Or was it a uh, sort of subterfuge so well as to a full sense of security and then carry it out several days from now? Uh, it's an inexact science. Uh, our government and our allies try to do the very best we can, but this will have to be played on a day to day basis. <laughs> so there you go. And if you couldn't understand him, I'm sorry, but that's how I, it's hard for me, and I'm right in front of the damn TV. So, a long story short, we don't know. We just want to keep you scared. So that's what's going on, everybody. I'll try to keep everybody updated with any other things that come across. So thanks to all my teammates and subscribers out there and everybody who supports me and this channel. I appreciate every freaking view and every one of you who, who follow along with this stuff. Not necess I'm not just mean with me. I just mean keeping up with this stuff because what everybody does need to do is keep their guard up at all times right now because at any second, something stupid could go down. So thanks to everybody again. All right, see ya.